looking for some great last minute Christmas gifts for yourself, for a photographer or videographer in your life? I've got some great affordable accent lights, some set design lights and tripods in this review. This and more after the intro. Last Friday when I went to check the mail, I found something wonderful inside. No, it wasn't bills, it wasn't checks or anything like that, but I knew I had a package waiting for me because there was this key in my mailbox and that meant I get to open one of the big bay doors. And it was for one of the big ones. And it was a pretty big package, about yay big. So I knew I had something interesting in there. And I knew it was from China because of all the lettering on the package. So I got back home, I cleaned off the package and I opened it up and it was a package from Yulanzi. So I was really excited to open this up. What you'll notice is I've changed my set quite a bit over the last, I guess, couple of weeks now. Remember just a couple of weeks ago, I had this black background. There was nothing else there. And then I spent $200, $220, and I bought this bookcase. Then I added a plant, but I knew I was missing something. There was something there that wasn't there. And I told you, I said yes, because I had a lot of comments saying, Simon, you're missing something there. There needs to be some lighting or something. I said, yes, lights are on the way. Well, part of this package from Ulanzi was some lights. Now you'll notice I've got this sort of purplish, uh, bluish, pinkish accent to the, the bookcase. And what I'm actually using is these things here. These are the Ulanzi um, LED lights. These are terrific little things. Um, <laughs> they're not very big, um, but they give off plenty of light. And I've since adjusted them. I've been using them for about a week now. And in terms of intensity, I've got them set anywhere from 33% all the way up to about 90%. And it's this one here right behind me, that guy right there, that's lighting up the whole bookcase and he's at 90%. It was at 100%, but I've toned it down and really you can't tell much of a difference. And that gives me at least 90 minutes. So these things give you at least 90 minutes on 100%. So I'm figuring I'm probably good to about two hours right now. Now, if you're much less than that, around 30%, you, you can shoot for hours with these things. So in terms of, well, what can you do with them? Well, these guys here will give you, as you can see on the front, they're RGB. So you get up to, I think, 256 choices of what color you want. And then you get to choose, well, obviously the brightness and intensity of it, but also the color temperature. Uh, and I think, believe if I'm not, if I remember correctly, is it on here? I think it's around 2500, 2500 to 8790. So 2500 to 8790 color temperature, and they're chargeable by USB, and um, I'm just staggered by them. And, and it's not that you know, there's plenty of lights out there, and that's not really what has me staggered so much. Ulanzi lists these on their site for, are you ready for this? $19.99, $20 US for these. And this week, I've seen them on B&H and other sites anywhere from $15 to $20. So if you act right now, you can get four of them for $60. Now, strangely enough, on the B&H site, they had the exact same product listed twice for $15 and $18. I don't know about you, but I would go for the $15 one. I don't know why they have two different types there. So let me show you one of them. Uh, the lighting's going to change a little bit as I pull it away. I'll turn this off for a minute. So you can see it's not very big. Let me get back in here. It's not very big at all. It fits in the palm of your hand quite easily. And, you know, the, it has a little an adapter here so you can put it on a stand. Um, I, I'm just staggered by them. I think for the price, they're, cap they're highly capable. I think they're really terrific. The only, I would say downside, I wouldn't say it's a negative. The only downside to these things is that you can't control it by your smartphone. So here's my smartphone here. There's no app. And where that's really handy is if you've got four of them like I do and you're trying to set the colors, you want to set them as a group or create some sort of a theme, well, you have to do that individually and an app would save you a lot of time. Now, when I set these up, believe it or not, I pretty well got the color temperature right within about two minutes. I couldn't believe it. It just kind of worked. I tried it out, shot my first video. I thought this looks really good, so I decided to keep it. But if you're one of those people who likes fiddling around, it's kind of like moving the couch, it looks good here. No, let's move it over here. No, let's move it back here. Um, that might be a little bit time consuming and that's something you might not enjoy, but you're looking at under $20 for these things and 
for the next type of model, you're looking at at least $80 on sale for um, slightly larger lights that provide an app. And they go up anywhere from $80 to $120. And that's what I was initially looking at. I forgot the name of them, uh, but really good. They're about twice the size of this. And, you know, I would have been looking at close to $500 taxes and shipping in to accent my bookshelf. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this guy back and put him right there. Oh yeah, and on the back you can see you've got the display on there. So put this guy right back about there. <clears throat> so I, I think they're terrific. Um, I'm not getting paid to say this. They didn't have me sign anything, any agreement. They just said, hey, look, we've got a bunch of products. What would you like to review? And I love that. It's kind of like a kid in a candy shop. I get to go in and go, like, oh, I want to try this. I want to try this. I want to try this. But in terms of the lights for the price, for the value, the capability of them, I highly recommend them. And I put a link in the description down below, one for B&H and one for the company itself. Actually, the, the links that I have for B&H and Amazon, um, it's not for any one particular product. But if you go in there and you browse around and whatever you pick, I do get a 2% commission off that, which goes into buying stuff for the channel. So, And I did just recently make a purchase. It's supposed to be arriving today. No, actually tomorrow because UPS decided that, well, even though they got it by six o'clock last evening and it's only an hour away, well, it's only 45 minutes away, they've decided to push the shipment till Thursday. So there's that. So again, I think the lights are terrific, but that's not all they sent me. A few other things. They also sent me this um, flexi tripod, the MT-11 right here. I, I like to call these kind of like spider tripods. And I think these are terrific. Now, these are actually designed for mobile phones and compact cameras. Now, yes, I did go ahead and try it with my R5, and it held my R5, but it's not designed for the R5. It's, it's not designed for the weight, and it's not as flexible with the R5 on it. Uh, but the 70D, M50, A6100, GH5, um, it's, it's terrific. It's very lightweight. It's highly, uh, it's perfect for traveling. I think it's really good. And the price for this thing, $20. I mean, you really can't go wrong with the prices for these things. I think these great make great Christmas gifts. Um, usually a lot of uh, Santa gift giving uh, for schools and stuff. Uh, for, you know, people like to cap things around $20, but for friends or your family, I, I would have no problem giving this as a gift. I mean, $20 is, is great value. So, in a day and age where we're kind of strapped for cash because of everything that's going on, uh, I think this is great value. So again, uh, it comes with an attachment, so it works with uh, mobile phones or it works with um, uh, compact cameras. But wait, I got another item. They also sent me this tripod. Now this is actually, I'm not going to fold this out. Um, this will actually take the weight of the R5. Um, it'll take, it's designed for compact cameras and mobile phones as well. And it's about six feet long, it's about five feet long. So how this one works is you just unscrew it and it comes all the way out and then you screw it back to lock it in place. Now, the only reason why I wouldn't, see, I'll use it for the uh, R5 in this mode here because I'm not worried about the locking. For me, the R5, you, you wanna use a heavy duty tripod. It's a heavy duty camera with something like the 15 to 35 or the 50 millimeter on it. Same with any other professional grade camera, you're gonna to wanna to, you're going to want a rig that is really built sturdy. It's got levels on it because this doesn't have any levels on it. And it's going to have really firm locking mechanisms. But for compact cameras and smartphones, uh, and even for slightly heavier DSLR or mirrorless cameras like the 90D or the um, 70D, I think this is terrific. And I, and I use it for the R5 on when it's compact like this. It's, it's perfect. It also is lightweight fits in your briefcase, or sorry, not your briefcase, your suitcase. And I think it's a rather terrific tripod too. It's not $20 if you can believe it. This one here um, is about $46. It, it's, it's a nice little unit. Um, it really is a nice little unit. I'm quite happy with that. So I'll put that down there. So yeah, a lot of interesting stuff by Ulanzi. Now Ulanzi um, basically makes a lot of stuff for mobile phones and compact phones. I didn't see a lot of uh, their gear for professional grade stuff. But if you're looking at getting gifts for the filmmaker, videographer in your life, or if you're looking at setting up a YouTube channel, there's a lot of great stuff. I really do like the lights. Now I was talking 
a bit more to the company because uh, they're working on an update to these, something in the future that's going to be a little better. And I did mention that, yes, having a smartphone app would be great. And they said they're working on something like that. They're working on providing them, uh, making them a little bit bigger and providing a bit more power. But in terms of battery life, I think they're terrific. They also work great. This is Christmas time. So people are doing designs around the house or in the room. So if you've got kids and they want to provide some accent lighting, these are really good for that too. Um, if you keep them around 30% or less, then you're going to have hours on a single charge. So I think they're really, really terrific. And one last note before I go, um, I just put out a video yesterday, I believe it was yesterday, depends on when I publish this one here, on the Crane S2. Do I have it? Yep, here it is right here. And I am very impressed with this gimbal. Um, I've got it locked right now so it doesn't flop about. But the quality of this thing for the price, um, it's, and, and gimbals, the first time you set one up, I say this in the video, the first time setting it up, give yourself a good hour so the first time setting up one of these, give yourself an hour, especially if you haven't done one before. They just, when you open the box, you're just kind of scratching your head. How does this work? It's almost like a bit of a puzzle. But once you've got it set up the first time, you've got it balanced, you've got it calibrated, you've downloaded the firmware, the batteries are charged. Basically, the first day you get it, you're pretty well, it's maintenance mode. It's reading manuals mode and it's watching videos online mode. But then the second day, you want to get out there and use it, and it's terrific. Now, I got the optional handle here, and I recommend that because when you're out, it, it just, I don't know how to explain the ergonomics of it, but it just feels lighter. Uh, in every mode but selfie mode, and selfie mode is your vlogging mode, um, it just feels so much lighter. It's so much easier to use. When it comes to um, gimbals, I'd say this has to be the easiest um, and provides the best user experience of all gimbals. But... That's it for now. Thanks so much for watching The Ordinary Filmmaker. Don't forget to subscribe for your chance to win the Single Lav S6E and M3 shotgun microphones. I'll be awarding these two prizes once the channel reaches 20,000 subscribers. And then for every 10,000 subscribers or so after that, I'll be offering up a better and more expensive prize until this channel reaches 100,000 subscribers. At which point, I'll be awarding a brand new Canon EOS R5 full frame mirrorless camera to one lucky viewer. And on that bombshell, Thanks so much for watching The Ordinary Filmmaker. We'll see you again soon.